this example, f of x is negative x squared plus 4x minus 3, or in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is negative 1, b is 4, and c is negative 3. We are going to rewrite it in the vertex form to get the vertex property. The vertex hk, where h is negative b over 2a. Negative b over 2 times a, or negative 4 divided by 2 times negative 1 to get positive 2 for the h. And the k is the function at h, or the function at 2. You can plug it in directly as negative of the 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 3, and we'll give us 1, or use the formula as 4ac minus b squared, the quantity divided by 4a, which should return the same number 1. I'll show you in a little bit here. So 4 times a times c minus b squared, all divided by 4 times a, or 4 times negative 1, will be 12 minus 16 divided by negative 4, or the same value 1. Now we get the vertex as the coordinate hk equals 2, comma 1. Next, we're going to look at the x-intercept. For x-intercept, y is 0. So 0 equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. We're going to factor this expression and then solve for x. Negative, factor it out to be negative times x squared minus 4x plus 3. Factor completely to get x minus 3x minus 1. Therefore, we get the two x-intercepts x at 3 and x at positive 1. At 3 and at 1, the vertex 2, 1, and the parabola opens downward. Let's do a little bit more by finding the y-intercept. For y-intercept, x is going to be 0. If x is 0, y will be 0 plus 0 minus 3 or negative 3. So negative 3 down there. So the graph will look like something like this. You get y-intercept, x-intercept, and the vertex. And since a is negative 1, which is less than 0, the graph opens downward, the vertex. 2 comma 1 will be the minimum or uh, maximum value, will be the maximum point of the graph. And the value is 1. Another example, f of x equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. A x squared plus b x plus c as a form that is given. And we can make a list as a equals 2, b is negative 2, and c is negative 4. The vertex h k, h is negative b over 2a equals negative of negative 2 divided by 2 times 2. That becomes 1 half. And the k is the function at h, or the function at 1 half. That would give us 2 times 1 half square minus 2 times 1 half minus 4. Or we get 1 over 2 here, minus 1 minus 4, or 1 half minus 5 which is 1 minus 10 divided by 2. Or negative 9 over 2 in the decimal form would be negative 4.5.
So we got the vertex or the coordinate hk in the form of one half, negative nine halves, or 0 0.5 comma negative 4.5. And next, we're going to look at the x-intercept. x-intercept when y is 0. So we're going to solve for x by solving this equation. 0 equals 2 x squared minus 2 x minus 4. Factor 2 out completely. You get 2 times x squared minus 1 x minus 2. Then the Factor form of x squared minus x minus 2 would be x minus 2 times x plus 1. When we stop this, we get x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. Now we got two x intercepts. The vertex 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, negative 4.5. So going to be down here. somewhere over there and then the x intercept 2 comma 0 negative 1 comma 0 if we want to look at the y intercept so the y intercept to get more precise of the graph y intercept x is 0 Therefore, y equals 0 minus 0 minus 4, or y equals negative 4. So y equals negative 4 is the y-intercept. So the graph opens up because the a is positive. Let me put a side here. This is positive. So it opens up or upwards. And then it's narrower because absolute value of the A is greater than 1. Narrower than the basic y equals x squared graph or the basic parabola graph. And to label this, this is negative 0.5, negative 4.5. <clears throat> and the x intercept, 2 comma 0, negative 1 comma 0. The y intercept over here, 0, 4, or 0, negative 4, sorry. And the graph opens upward. That means the vertex HK will give you the minimum point of the graph.